Welcome back, my fellow radiation nerds. Today, we dive deep into what really happened at the Bayo Canyon. Bayo Canyon is located to the east of Los Alamos, and it is a place of striking natural beauty. With its breathtaking landscapes, towering cliffs, and vibrant wildlife, one might assume this area has been a peaceful retreat forever. But in the 1940s, a series of powerful explosions shocked this place, leaving behind a legacy that endures to this day. During the Manhattan Project, a team of scientists was tasked with studying the behavior of radioactive materials under extreme conditions. Their work was critical to the development of the plutonium implosion type bomb, just like the bomb Fatman, which was later used over Nagasaki. A total of 242 tests were conducted, with each test using several hundred curies of radioactive materials, primarily radioactive lanthanum 140, often referred to as RALA which has a half-life of just 40 hours. However, lanthanum was not the only radioactive element used. These tests continued until 1961, and in 1976, the government initiated a cleanup of the area, burying the radioactive contaminants deep underground. Yet, to this day, debris can be found around the location of the test site, with some pieces still exhibiting traces of radioactivity. Today, the Bayou Canyon has slightly elevated activity, though I'm not sure if it's from the contamination from the test or from natural sources, as I've recorded the same increased activity pretty much throughout my entire hike to the location of the test site. During my exploration of the canyon, I discovered around two dozen pieces, including metal shrapnel and cable wiring. When inspected closely, you can see how the intense force of the explosion tore the metal apart with ease. From all the pieces I found, one appears to be radioactive, and clocks around 2000 CPM on my Ludlum Model 3 with a 44-9 probe at 1 cm distance. This discovery was particularly intriguing, given that all radioactive lanthanum 140 should long be decayed. Curious to uncover its source, I conducted a gamma spectrum using my RACID gamma spectrometer. The analysis reveals peaks at 63, 93, and 186 keV, which are characteristic for uranium. Given the small size of the peak at 186 keV, it's likely that the sample contains depleted uranium instead of the regular one, as the uranium-235 was in high demand for the production of the uranium bomb Little Boy which was later used over Hiroshima. If you find yourself in Los Alamos with some time to spare, I highly recommend hiking through Bayo Canyon. Whether you're a nuclear physics enthusiast or a casual tourist, the canyon offers stunning natural beauty, diverse wildlife, and a unique glimpse into the history of atom bomb development. The hike is about one and a half hours one way, so make sure to bring plenty of water and prepare accordingly. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming content. Also feel free to check out my coffee page where you can donate a nice cup of radioactive coffee and support my work financially. And remember, stay active!